In one sentence, Jews for Judaism saved my life. We are going to chant the most precious prayer in Judaism, the Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai that it's deception because they twist a lot of the biblical references and they try to, they honestly try to put Jesus into everything. They put him into the Pesach Seder, they put him into, you know, Isaiah prophecies that have nothing to do with, you know, Jesus at all. We have a wonderful group of young people here passionate about Christ, passionate about evangelism. This is the future of Jewish missions. This is the future of Jews for Jesus. From a Jewish day school background, I really felt confident knowing a lot about Judaism, but since becoming involved with Jews for Judaism, I really learned so much more um, about missionary practices, how they are able to manipulate texts to suit their needs, and it's very different and not accurate according to Jewish tradition. Um, we've learned, you know, just m mainly a lot about the threat that they pose, and I think that most of my peers don't know about that. College life. It's a time of freedom. It's a time of growth and learning who you are. But college and the beginning of adulthood is also the time when you can become an easy target of spiritual predators. And some are very deceptive, like wolves who wear sheep's clothing. We can't stick our head in the ground and pretend the devil is not real. The devil is real. Their theology teaches that unless if you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and that he died for your sins, you're going to burn in hell. The Jew has always been a pivotal cog in this and also the belief that it, the more Jews that come around to believe in Jesus, the likelihood is that he will come again. When I got to high school, I was questioning and I was wondering if there was anything out there um, more meaningful than this painful life that I was experiencing. And a classmate of mine told me that what I really needed was a relationship with God. And so at the age of almost 17, I embraced Christianity. Um, I became a Christian. 